They seem to think it might not be affordable. One of the lunch bags you had up had a plastic water bottle, which just staggers me. Guess what? We've got drinkable water in Australia. Let's have that. Anyway, there's my rant. Jason, I'm feeling very chuffed about this area because uh, sometimes I'm sort of figuring out if the old pancakes sitting in the fridge are mouldy or not to send them off to, to my uh, young one's lunch. And today I put in homemade banana cake. Um, I didn't make it, but that's not the oh. point. How do you feel about this policy? God send to parents? Is it going to be... Just the LNP saying, oh, we better do this too. We're about to win an election. Well, Tom, up until this moment, I was against this policy. But now that I realise your children may be forced to <laughs> eat banana bread made by you, I can see that it makes a lot of sense. I mean, look, government is not the solution. Government is the problem. I mean, what next? Are we going to have government-funded nannies coming in to make sure that our children brush their teeth? We have serious problems in this country that require serious um, politicians and serious political leaders. Our education standards have fallen over the last decade under both parties' Tom, so I'm not having a political go. And um, policies that are um, designed to arrest that decline in education standards would be something that I would think the um, people who want to mm. be the Premier of Queensland should be spending time on, not gimmicks like $1.4 billion for a free lunch. This is just absurd. So, but, but it's silly. This it's trying to, to say, solve a problem that doesn't exist when there yeah, are actual I know some states, for example, have programs for kids who are not getting a proper breakfast at home. Is that something, you know, and that, that's targeted, that's however many kids get it in the morning. It's not just every single student getting a free lunch. Can you see a need for that where parents are not actually giving their kids proper sure. food in so the morning of, versus the whole state? Yeah, so... So, as, as you know, Tom, I'm uh, a huge fan of academies and chartered schools and some of the, the academies in the UK and chartered schools in the US specifically aim mm. some of their, their... Their charter is literally to ensure that students get three meals a day because that has a, um actual impact on the capacity of a child to learn. So, in those underprivileged areas where people don't have... Um, a, who are coming from chaotic house, home lives... Uh, where the school can step in to make sure that they're getting the best opportunity of life forward. Okay. That makes um, that makes absolute okay. sense, those targeted programs. OK, so targeted. So Jason's given me an idea, Patrick. Um, cleaning teeth, that's, that's, well, that's ridiculous, frankly, a nanny to send someone round to clean the teeth, but bedtime? Gee, I'd, I'd take that up. Is, is there any spare money in the budget? A bedtime <laughs> nannies... Maybe, look, I'll take one or two days a week or maybe you can, you know, if it's been more than an hour, you hit the alarm and you say, oh, the, bed t the, the, the federal government's nanny's going to come around. That might work. Uh, I think Tony Abbott experimented with uh, having Commonwealth-funded <laughs> nannies and uh, it didn't work out too well for him. Uh, our focus when it comes to the Commonwealth investing in the welfare of the next generation is, of course, in making sure that we give uh, <laughs> early childhood educators the pay rise they deserve. Uh, that's going to kick in in December and at the same time we're putting a cap on childcare fees. Uh, that's probably where we'll keep our focus, Tom. Uh, but if you've got any ideas, um, you're more than welcome to write to your local federal member. That's my best one. I feel like it's, yeah, it's Jason's fault once you mentioned the school lunches. It's, I'm just letting it all out. I've had a bit of one of those mornings. All right, final, <laughs> final uh, moment. I haven't told you about this one, but we've got a few seconds left. How did you entertain the kids during school holidays? Jason, you can go first. Uh, I just over-program lessons from surfing to tennis to, um, you know, anything uh, yeah. that will go. I, it, simply put, exhaustion. Just exhaust them so Send they have them nothing out. else to do. Get them out of your hands. Yep. Patrick, I'm, I'm over time, so just be, just be short for me. Oh, look, uh, I'll just say that grandparents are some of the greatest people <laughs> on earth. And thanks to all of the grandparents out there. Here, here, Patrick. <laughs> You've given the <laughs> same you, answer. Basically, um, you sent them anywhere but yourselves. All right, Jason, Patrick. Thank you. We'll talk again soon when we come.